Today, we play four Roblox games that I found on my recommended feed that I think deserve some attention. I believe that these games are underrated, and I wanted to shed some light on these games. And to start off, we have Whizbang, a game developed by Roblox user Woodlegs, and to summarize, it is a war game where you need to defend your trench from the waves of enemies that are out there to eliminate you. I feel like this game has huge potential, and you guys might like this game. Oh bro, is this music copyright or something? I don't know. Currently, there's some people alive, there's some people dead, or actually a lot of people dead. This game might be kind of hard to play, or something along those lines. Oh, what? Okay, we're here now. I can be a Rifleman, Automatic, Engineer, Artillery, Officer, Sharpshooter, and Medic. I guess I'll just choose Rifleman, because that might be the most basic one. I have a Lee, a Shovel, Lantern, and Mill. There's a lot of chaos happening right now. I think some guy just exploded. It's okay, where are these people at? Like a sniper or something? That guy just got sniped. Oh, they're coming! Oh, I shot absolutely nothing! I'm throwing out my grenade! Yo, melee these guys, what's up? <gasps> oh my goodness, dude. Now I know how easy it is to die in this game. Huh? So I switched to automatic class, which I would say it's better than Rifleman. But I think I'm saying that because I just have trash aim. But anyways, after surviving the round, I was able to get a better understanding of the game. Oh, let me reload really quickly. They're coming. I got him, nice. Okay, note to self, they actually have to be kind of close for me to actually get them. Because obviously I'm like pretty inaccurate, right? Let's just push up ahead, we're not afraid. Watch this. Oh, never mind, it's very dark! Okay, I cannot see! Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, something's moving in the distance, you guys see that? I don't know who or what that is. Oh, I actually see them, that's their head. I don't even know if I got that person or not, but we got something. A few moments later... Oh, I see them. I see them now. Watch this. That's what you call a spray and pray. Do not try that at home. Nice. That's one. Oh! There are so many of them! They're all carrying shovels though, dude. Let's get both those people. There's one all the way down there. I think my teammate actually got him. Good shot. I think that's it. I think we survived, boys. Well, at least some of us survived. Um, may maybe not him. Oh my goodness, look at the amount of corpses here, guys. Look at this. They're all dead. This is what war does, by the way. This guy only has one leg. Bro, this guy has one leg. Guys, this is war. This is what war actually does. Do, do not go to war. These are the consequences. Also, wait, why is my character like green now? Do you guys see this in my skin? Bro. So that was Whizbang. I can see a lot of potential in this game, and I feel like it's already taking off at this moment. I love the gunplay in the game, and if I had to rate this game out of 10 based on my experience, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Our next game is called Obit.RBXM, a game developed by Roblox user Benji. And from what I've had experience, it is a trippy adventure platformer game. Okay, um, we're in the game right now. And wow, what is this? Why does my character look so fried? And also, uh, is that another player? Yes, that's another player. Let's try to do, uh, what we do best and, uh, try to beat some of this hobby or parkour stuff. Never mind, I just fell down. And wait, this game's actually kind of trippy. Because, like, it looks 3D, but also, like, 2D. And okay, let's jump here. Let's jump here, and then let's jump here. Cool. And okay, this is actually a checkpoint. We're just on stage 0, now we're on stage 1. Let's just uh, go on this green thingy. Oh, never mind. Okay, and what is this thing? You jump this way, you jump this way. What? Okay, that's actually kind of trippy. I don't know what to do there. Also, dude, my eyes are kind of hurting right now. Wait, what? Yeah, I was struggling at this part. From the looks at my perspective, it seems like it's one solid path, but it's really not. And this is why in the beginning, I said this game is pretty trippy. Oh wow, that's actually very trippy. I thought you would actually light on this thing here, not whatever these uh, stairs or slopes are. Okay, I think we jump down, right? Yes, we do. And oh god, where do you go? You go here, right? And we have a checkpoint. Oh, what? And okay, we're finally back here, but where do I jump? Do I jump on this? Oh yeah, I do jump on that. Okay, cool. 
Okay, there we go. Stage two. Perfect. Dude, you really had to use like your logic and perspective in this game. Let's jump. Oh, we can't. I don't think we can even make that. Maybe we have to jump like so. Oh, yep. We have to jump like so. Got it. You really had to predict where to jump in this game if you don't know where to jump. That kind of made no sense, but uh, you jump here. Okay, so uh, you jump like that. Nice. And okay, let's just climb up the steps. We're gonna climb up these steps like so. And wait, where is this? Oh, that's stage three. Okay, say no more. Bruh. So that was Abit.RBXM, a very trippy game about navigating a trippy environment. This game really made me think about perspective and how a platform may look like it's beside you, even though it's not. And if I had to rate this game based off my experience, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And that brings us on to our next game, which is Thrifting Warehouse. A game made by Roblox user Thrifting, it is a mystery game about solving and exploring the unknown. Okay, entry ticket award. Looks like we just spawned into this one world here. I don't know, I guess we'll just go inside this thrifting warehouse. And yeah, let me talk to this uh, one NPC here, Mr. Uh, Taigo. That reckless owner keeps running off to places. If you ever find Keb, please let me have a word with him, respectfully. Um, okay. Who is Kev? Like, I don't know who Kev is. As I said, this is one of those mystery games where you actually, like, go around places and interact with stuff. There's also this one area here, I'm guessing it's sort of like freezer, or wait no, some sort of like basement area. Dude, why did they say freezer? I have no clue. I guess we'll just uh, go outside in this area, there's obviously nothing here. So after leaving the store, I came across this mechanic that served absolutely no purpose. I also talked to this random homeless guy, who is also kind of useless. But then, I went inside this room. Okay, what does this office have, exactly? Has some sort of a missing poster of Vanitsu, has some sort of like article here. And okay, looks like there's actually a key here. There might be the same key for the basement. In plain sight award. Let's go straight to the basement and try to open the door. We're inside a basement right now with this person here. But okay, can we interact with this? No, we cannot. There's a bunch of these spider webs, which kind of suggests that this place is pretty old. There is, however, a crack over here. Wait. Wait, who's that guy right there? Wait, who are you? I think he might be in some sort of basement or some sort of sewers area. But before we go there, I think we should explore the world. To fast forward a bit, I talked to the skate shop owner, and he told me some things about the area. I also talked to this old guy here, and noticed a key that was missing. I then headed down to the sewers, and then spoke to this guy. Tell me about this place doesn't sit right with me, maybe I should stand up. Anyways, the owner of thing has been acting suspicious these days, uh, I know he's behind the incident, I just know it, but I can't find any proof. This is where we were just at, by the way. We were just in this basement, I remember that poster. And wait, what is this? Apparently there's like some hidden room here. I think we may might have to have like a hammer and then smash this thing, you know what I'm saying? Hold up! Oh god, you're supposed to like flip the switch or something, or like something like that. Is it me, or are these lights flickering? Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, let's just hop down here. And wait, it has a key! As an unknown key! Also, there's something on the screen here, there's an arrow. That might be the same office arrow, because I remember these, uh, these, uh, shelves here. Okay, so we click this thing. This thing will go back. I have no clue what this place is. If there's a jump scare, I'm actually done. Suspect's still missing. There's, uh, there's also some missing posters of some people here. And also a key. Also, we cannot open any of these things, so, uh, let's just head back. So that was Thrifting Warehouse. As someone who doesn't play mystery games often, I actually enjoy this one. I like how you need to talk to some of the NPCs to uncover some of the lore to progress through the game. And if I had to give it a rating out of 10, I'd give it an easy 8 out of 10. So the next game we have is called SCP-087 The Stairwell, a game developed by Roblox Rip Top Hat Studios. And there's a game based around the entity SCP-087, where your objective is to journey down the endless staircase shrouded in infinite darkness. Okay, guys, we're currently in SCP-087 The Stairwell. Let's go over here to the start button to, like, start the game. Oh my goodness, yeah, I really hope there's no jump scares in this game. I mean, there is jump scares, but, like, you guys know what I mean. No, you know what, who cares? Let's just run down here. Or, wait, no, there's no sprint. We just have to come. Yo, there's like a random JPEG jump scare. I'm actually gonna all F4. On God, I am. Oh, there's a light here. Oh! Oh my God, that actually got me. That actually got me. That was actually so loud. I gotta put it lower in the recording. Let's grab this board here. 
Sometimes it may be useful. Check your windows. Man, I'm actually scared, chat. I'm actually scared. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, a random SCP-087 just came out of nowhere and scared me. Oh my god, I'm actually sweating balls right now, bro. Like he can- Oh! Why does this guy keep like jump scaring me? Stop! Two seconds later. Wait, what? Um, hello? Wait, what? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that kinda got me, but I thought so. I thought that guy was like one of those don't move guys. On floor 30. Okay, floor 30. Bro, what am I supposed to do there? I cannot move, I cannot look away, I cannot turn, I cannot do anything. Okay, got it. Oh, not again. Yo, 087, screw you. Is he beside me? Yeah, he is. Hmm. He almost got me there. That did not scare me, bro. Good try. Okay, 38. I think this is actually where I died last time, no? No. Oh, yep. Okay, we have to run here. Wait. I'm trying to run away. I'm trying to run away. Oh, I actually made it. Okay, cool. I actually lived. I actually lived that. You have to back up for that. Later. Oh, 450. 450. First time being here. Also, there's like a gate here. What is this? Oh, we're over here. Brick. Wait, what? 40 seconds to do what? Wait, 40 seconds to do what? Oh my god, where am I going? Where am I going? I can't I can't click anything. Chat, what do I even do here? Really? No way. Okay, yeah, I, that, that was expected. Dude, I couldn't find the brick. Tip, too slow. Yes, how observant. I, I thought I was too slow too, bro. So that was SCP-087, the stairwell. A scary and thrilling horror game about journeying your way down a staircase. And if I had to rate this game out of 10, I would give it an 8 out of 10.